Brighton Police has apologised to the family of a teenage boy after an officer mistook his brightly coloured water pistol for a real gun. The 13-year-old, who's black, was surrounded by armed police and handcuffed while playing with his sister in July. The boy's mother says she felt his treatment would have been different had he been white. Well, our community affairs correspondent, Adina Campbell, is with me now. and Tell us more about the background to this. Well, a press conference has been taking place today involving race equality campaigners, community leaders and lawyers representing the family who say they're shocked and appalled over the way this boy has been treated and are calling for a thorough investigation. Uh, the boy's family say he's been left deeply traumatised. He continues to have nightmares. This dates back to July earlier this year when the boy and his younger sister had been out playing with water pistols when an unarmed officer said that he saw a male on a bike pointing a handgun at a girl. Firearms officers were then deployed to the scene. The boy was knocked over and they used specialist tactics to cause the boy to fall over. He was then handcuffed and detained. They then realised they'd made a huge mistake and he was later released. Now, the Metropolitan Police say they treat all firearms incidents as real until they're proven and their priority is to make sure they protect human life. Uh, we know that the, the detective chief superintendent has apologised to the family. Safeguarding support has been offered. But the family today, the, the lawyers representing the family, say this would never have happened if the child had been white. They're deeply shocked. An internal investigation has been carried out by the Met and they say no gross misconduct um, took place. Adina Campbell.